Next Accurate Forecast with Thomas Keyboy. Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. All right, the roller coaster of weather continues. Let's head over for another check of it as we head into the weekend with meteorologist Thomas Keyboy. Hi, Thomas. Hey, Emily. Yeah, earlier this week, we were at the top of the roller coaster. Yesterday, we dropped to the bottom of the roller coaster as cooler air worked its way in, and pretty soon we're about to start working our way back up. But with the cooler air that has moved in, it's kind of helped stabilize things a little bit. So we're still seeing enhanced runoff, but it's not nearly as much compared to what we saw earlier this week. And the avalanche risk has also gone down as well. It hasn't gone away completely. We're still looking at a low avalanche risk from the Skyline area up through the Ogden area, but it's still moderate in the Logan area and in the Moab area. This was likely going to be the case once again tomorrow. But once we get into Sunday, as those temperatures are expected to climb above our seasonal averages, we could be talking about increased avalanche danger once again. And that avalanche danger was really high earlier this week, especially in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Chris Williams shared this photo showing us a perspective of one of the slides in Little Cottonwood Canyon. And you can just imagine as that snow was coming downhill, picking up all that debris from the trees, you would not have wanted to be on, out on the road. So thank you to all the crews that helped clear off all that debris because we saw multiple slides, not only in Little Cottonwood Canyon, but in our mountains in general. So again, things have been helped by a trough that's worked its way in. We have mainly a northwesterly flow, so our temperatures have dropped compared to what we were seeing earlier this week. There's a little piece of energy that's moving through the northern portion of the state right now. So there are a few spotty showers around, generally in the high country, but we did see a few showers in southern Salt Lake County and northern Utah County earlier. Those have since gone away. But again, most of what we're seeing currently is up in the high country. Those showers will be coming to an end as we go into tonight. Then in the southern portion of Uinta County, still got a few showers by the Tavaputs Plateau. Then in southwestern Utah, it's just as nice as you would like. Temperatures are cooler than earlier this week, but it's still rather pleasant when it comes to those temperatures. And we have a decent amount of sunshine in spots where we're not seeing those showers. And one of those spots seeing a decent amount of sunshine this evening, Utah Lake in Linden. This is shaping up to what's going to be a pretty nice sunset. And a little while ago, over towards the Oakers, we were seeing a few showers. Looks like those showers have since diminished in the last hour or so. Then Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab, always a pretty view here as we're approaching that sundown as well. You got some partly cloudy skies on the left-hand portion of your screen. And just nice and comfortable in Moab currently with a temperature sitting at 58 degrees. It's 55 degrees in Cedar City, 67 degrees in St. George. It's a little bit on the cool side in northern Utah, so if you're heading out this evening, you're definitely going to want that sweater if you're heading out early this evening, but you're probably going to want that jacket the later you're out tonight because those overnight lows along the Wasatch Front will be dropping into the low and mid-30s, dropping to 34 degrees in Salt Lake. We'll be in the upper 20s in Brigham City, but tomorrow those temperatures will be roughly 5 to 10 degrees warmer compared to what we saw this afternoon as that high pressure builds in. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, 59 degrees in Salt Lake, 45 degrees in Park City, could climb to 50 degrees in Heber. Spring skiing will be in full full effect once again. 55 degrees in Emory, 51 degrees in Nephi, and over in Millard County, we'll see a daytime high of 57 in Oak City. Then in southern Utah, daytime high of 47 in Monticello, 62 degrees in Hanksville, 50 degrees in Bryce Canyon, and a daytime high of 74 degrees in St. George. It's going to be great weather if you want to get outside over the next few days thanks to that high pressure. But look at some of these temperatures right here. Park City will go from the middle 40s tomorrow into the middle 50s on Sunday. And even the Cottonwoods at 8,000 feet could see temperatures climb into the 50s over the weekend. And that could lead to that enhanced runoff. So we'll keep a close eye on that. And down in southern Utah with those warm temperatures could be at 80 degrees on Monday in Moab. We'll be looking at the chance for that enhanced runoff. And we could see those slot canyons become inundated. So be very careful if you plan on going to the backcountry over the next several days. So low pressure, that's going to be moving out of the way as we go into the weekend. High pressure will be building in. So for tomorrow, with winds mainly out of the west, those temperatures will be close to our seasonal averages. But as that high pressure continues to go from west to east, we'll see more of a southerly flow from Sunday into Monday. That allows those temperatures to warm up to above those seasonal averages. But from Tuesday into the middle of next week, that high pressure moves out of the way, opening up the door for a couple of systems that are likely going to be arriving between Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And on Tuesday, the best that best chance for wet weather looks to be mainly in northern Utah with generally valley rain and mountain snow. But as those cooler temperatures continue to move in, we could potentially see that snow line drop, but we'll keep you posted on that. As for St. George, we get low to mid 70s tomorrow, low 80s for our Sunday and Monday actually could climb into the middle 80s. But then in some windy conditions, as we look to stay mostly dry in St. George, daytime highs, though, will moderate back down into the low 70s, though. Then along the Wasatch Front will be near 60 degrees tomorrow, low 40s for our Saturday night, then back into the low 70s for your both Sunday. And Monday, the winds will start to increase, and then we'll bring in that chance for showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Daytime highs generally in the 50s, and overnight lows could drop back into the middle 30s. Emily? All right. We thank